Hey everybody, Blake Douglas back with you with ArtificeMarketing.com and today we are going to uh, go to the next part of this WooCommerce uh, tutorial series that we're doing. Uh, the previous video we talked about how to add uh, product uh, attributes in WooCommerce so that we can create variations for our products. And basically all that means is that if you offer uh, t-shirts for instance and you offer them in a few different sizes and a few different colors, uh, your customer is going to have the option uh, on the product page itself to select from a drop-down menu which color they want, which size they want, or really any other variations that you offer on your products, whatever they may be. So if you need to learn how to add product attributes, it's pretty simple, but go ahead and check out that previous video. I'll include a link to that in the annotations and also in the description. Uh, and let's crack straight into it. First thing we want to do is after we've added our attributes, we want to add a product. Now, if you already created products and you're having to go back, then you just want to click the Products tab here. But if you haven't already added your products and you need to do so, go ahead and click Add Product. All right. And if you remember from the previous video, um, doing this for some crochet beards. So we're going to do just keep it simple and put crochet beards. All right. So title uh, your product, whatever it happens to be. Do that at capital. All right, and uh, then also give it a little description down here. I'm just going to say, uh, stay warm in style during the polar vortex. No matter where you are in the United States, you're experiencing the polar vortex in some capacity. Um, so anyway, uh, let me go ahead and, sorry about this, change my... Uh, caps there. All right, so uh, first things first, what we want to do is go to product data. All right. Oh, and real quick, uh, most themes uh, are going to display <clears throat> the product short description, and they're not going to display any text that you put into the typical text editor. Now, this is theme specific. It may or may not be for your theme. I'm using the Barberry theme. Uh, great, gorgeous, gorgeous theme. Uh, really good for clothing companies and uh, uh, clothing brands. Uh, so check that out. I'll also put a link to that in the product description as well if you like the theme that you see and you like how the product pages look. Very easy to use and it's fully responsive. Just really, really nice, nicely made theme, well documented. Uh, all right, so let's get straight into it. Go down to product data and right now it's a simple product and simple product means if it's a product that doesn't have any variations. It just is what it is. Like uh, a t-shirt that you know only comes in one size and one color. You don't need to uh, create any variations because it's only again it's only available in one style uh, in one way but we are talking about creating variations here so we want to click variable product and this just lets WooCommerce know that we're creating a product that has some variations and when you click that you'll see some new options appear over here on the side so the first thing that we want to do uh, is go to attributes and specify which attributes we're going to be using to create those product variations. So first things first, go ahead and click this drop down menu over here and select the first attribute that you need to add. In my case, it's color. So I'm going to click add and then it says values. That just basically means to select which colors that your product is going to be available in. Uh, and this, uh, these beards are going to be available in black and brown. All right, cool. So once that's done, we want to add uh, the second one or really however many that you need to add. In my case, there's two style being the next one and there's uh, available these crochet beards available in curly and non curly edition okay now that we've uh, added both of those uh, before we click save attributes we want to go ahead and um, in WordPress 3.8 it's not very obvious what you need to do here um, but right over here where it says visible on the product page this typically be a, like a checkbox in previous uh, WordPress uh, instances but on 3.8 doesn't give us <clears throat> the checkbox but you do need to click uh, visible on the product page, meaning that they're going, the customer is going to be able to see these variations are available. And also, you need to click used for variations so that we can indeed uh, use these attributes uh, in creating our variations. So go ahead and do that for all of your uh, different attributes and then click save attributes. All right, now once you've done that, uh, go ahead and click over to variations. Okay, and I've got some that have been previously added. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these so that we can start from the beginning. All right, and okay. So this is what you're going to see because uh, you haven't added anything yet. 
First thing you want to do is set the default selection. And this basically means that when they go to the page, what is the default product going to be? Uh, and this really is up to you. Uh, if you think that if you have something, you know, that a red T-shirt, you think that you know the red one looks the best, then go ahead and put your best foot forward and lead with that. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to do the uh, black crochet beard in the non-curly form, okay? Because I think that the image that goes along with that uh, is sort of the, the best one that represents this product. So once you've set the default selection, uh, you can either do one of two things. You can click link all variations or add variations individually one by one. Link all variations is basically going to create uh, every single possible variation that it can from the attributes that you've set. In my case, it's going to create four because there's two colors available and two styles available. Two times two is four, uh, and I can indeed offer these crochet beards in all of those variations. So if you know that your product is available in all of those possible variations, go ahead and click Link All Variations. If it's not and you know some sizes aren't available in certain colors, so on and so forth, then you're going to want to add those variations uh, individually. So hopefully your product is available in all the variations and you can do this the easy way like I'm going to do. All right. This is just making sure that you want to do that. Uh, of course, click OK. All right, and it says four variations added. Perfect. Click OK once more. And here we go. All right, so now you can see right here, uh, it says brown, which is the color, and non-curly. Down here we have black, non-curly, brown, curly, and black, curly. Those are the four variations of this particular product. All right, next thing that we want to do is add the price to each, okay? Now there's an easier way to do this instead of going and typing it in on each product. If the product uh, is the same price no matter what the variation, then the easiest way to do this is where it says bulk edit. Just go up here and go down to prices, okay? Click prices, hit go, and then type in whatever the price is. In my case, these are uh, $15, and I'm gonna click okay. And you can see now, that it's indeed added the price of $15 to each of those products. Again, if, uh, if it costs more to, to get a certain variation, then you're going to want to uh, enter those prices individually, or if you have a sale price, whatever the case may be. Uh, again, uh, there's other things to fill out here. I'm not going to worry about those. These are specific to, uh, to your product, and you're going to know if you need to fill these in or not. All right, perfect. Next thing we want to do is attach a specific image to each of the different products that are available. So that when someone selects from the drop-down menu brown and non-curly, uh, that image pops up as the main image so they can see their selection. And you've, know, you've probably uh, seen this feature on uh, clothing sites or other product sites that you've uh, shopped on. And it's just nice for the customer, again, to be able to see exactly <clears throat> which variation they've selected before they order the product. So right here, this is brown, non-curly. So to add an image, uh, there's this little box over here. And just go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up your, uh, your media library. And go ahead and make sure, obviously, that you have any product images that you need already uploaded to your media library. And here's the brown, non-curly one. So I'm going to set the variation image for that. Go down to the next one, which is black, non-curly. All right, and that one's here. This is brown, curly, which is this one here. And last but not least, we have black and curly, which is that one right there. All right. Now, guys, these are just images uh, that, I, that I grabbed. I didn't optimize these. Um, I, you know, they're not necessarily the perfect size for the theme that I'm using. Uh, and that's just because there are so many thousands, probably tens of thousands of WordPress themes out there. Uh, and it's just sort of impossible for me to try to uh, know which theme you're using. Uh, so I'm just kind of doing this the easy way, showing you the uh, just the, the basic overview of how to do this. Again, there's going to be things specific to your theme that you're going to have to do, which is things such as you know the image size, um, so on and so forth uh, of, of what's going to look best on your theme. So added those images, and now what I need to do is add the uh, product gallery images and also the featured image. So the default product that we have here, I apologize, I don't know where our default product went. All right, let's go ahead and set it again black and non-curly. Okay, 
So once that's done, you don't have to click save, but you do need to click update, or sorry, publish. All right, so now uh, that product is published and we could go look at it, but we want to do, again, one more thing. We want to add images to our product gallery. And the product gallery, excuse me, product gallery is uh, the sub images, if you will, the ones that uh, are not the main image, but the ones that are going to appear below it in thumbnail format. So the main image that I'm going to feature is the black non curly beard. So I don't want to select that one, but I do want to select all the other three variations, add those to the gallery. And then the featured image, I want to set that as, again, the default selection. We want those to match up. Set featured image. All right, perfect. So everything's ready to go. I've got my short description in here. I've got my title. I've set all of my variations, set my attributes, uh, attached images to each one, and set the price. All right, so once you've done all that, now it seems like a lot, but trust me, you get in the swing of things, uh, and you can start knocking these out in just a few minutes per product. All right. Go ahead and click update. And let's see and cross our fingers and hope that everything works. Click view product. All right, perfect. Now again, I didn't optimize these images to be the correct size. I just wanted to show you guys again how to do this. Uh, you're gonna need to know for your specific theme what those image sizes should be. And that should be in the documentation somewhere. If it's not, um, then you want to go ahead and contact the support of uh, whoever created the theme. All right, so now you can see we've got uh, what we said is the default is showing up. It says black and non-curly. Now check this out. We click brown and it's going to switch it. And it's showing us the brown non-curly beard. Let's say I change the style to curly. Well, now we're seeing the brown curly beard. So this is a really cool feature and this is what I was talking about for why it's important to uh, add those images for each variation. Uh, show you the black curly one. There you go. So everything is working. Uh, it says our price. They can choose how many they'd like and then they can add it to their cart. And again, we have our, excuse me, my phone is going off the hook here. We've got our, um, our uh, gallery images down here and then our main image is uh, the uh, black non curly beard which is this one. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is how we add variations to products uh, in WooCommerce. And again, this is the Barberry theme. Uh, this is a beautiful theme, just really easy to work with and it's fully responsive, um, like I said. So uh, I'm gonna have a link to this theme in the description below and also a link to the previous video, which is how to add attributes in WooCommerce. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions, for the next video or have any questions at all about this video or anything about WooCommerce related, leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe uh, to be alerted of any new videos that we add. Thanks for being here and good luck with your WooCommerce endeavors.